great to look at, good to drive. Whoever would have thought a limo length 5 door hatchback, coupe thing would work so well? This is finally an Audi Sportback that appeals. Yes, it's still got a whiff of marketing guff about it, but frankly the great looks overcome that only a bitty ride spoils the haven. The A7, particularly in four-wheel drive guys, is an easy car in which to make unruffled progress. Though the torque distribution is slightly rear bias, it's impossible to provoke the A7 into any sort of tail wagging antics, you'll only find a near inexhaustible supply of grip, just the merest hint of body roll through even the quickest corners and, at the very limit, gentle understeer. Avoid the biggest alloys and refrain from clicking the adaptive dampers into the knobbliest mode, and the A7 doesn't ride too badly. We'd guess it won't tackle smashed up UK tarmac with the fluency of the Jag XF but it's less brittle than most sporting Audis. However, it isn't a whole lot of fun. It doesn't give much back to the driver, the steering, though sharp, feels artificial, the chassis erring on the side of inert caution. Its last facelift revitalized the engine lineup. There's more power and better economy across the board, but the big news is the addition of a super frugal, front-wheel drive Vulture model. It makes do with a 218bhp version of the familiar 3.0-liter TDI engine, this time mated to a 7-speed automatic gearbox. Just how many mpg are we talking? More than 60. And it's not slow, either. 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 7.3 seconds and the top speed is 149 miles per hour our choice remains the superb 3.0 by TDI. At the top of the range, the supremely powerful RS7 returns. Good, but we'd go for the identical in all but looks RS6 Avant instead. All the power, more practical, less money. It's a no-brainer. <laughs>